so welcome guys as of now you have wondered why i'm not uploading videos on my youtube channel so this uh, is why because i have taken the crtp course on the august 8th so it is only 30 day lab i have taken there is no enough time for me to create videos and i have successfully passed the exam uh, and here you can see the digital verification uh, badge here and in this video i'm going to uh, share my review and experience and also i can give you the tips how to pass the exam so this is the uh, website uh, pentester academy so this uh, website is offering the crtp exam so uh, what you will learn and here we can see the different topics of the active directory active directory enumeration rocker privilege escalation and then escalating our privileges uh, across the domain uh, into uh, some other uh, user accounts or high privileged accounts like ad domain administrators we'll be uh, seeing different uh, techniques on how to escalate our privileges to the uh, domain administrators and uh, we will also be seeing various uh, domain persistence uh, techniques like uh, admin sd holder skeleton key skeleton key etc so uh, this uh, co consists of more videos so and also the cross trust uh, attacks uh, before this before taking this exam before taking this exam i never performed this cross trust attack uh, because I, I have only one domain in my uh, vm lab so uh, in this uh, lab we will have uh, one uh, one parent domain and two other domains uh, i guess so you need to perform this cross trust and cross forest attack so this is uh so good after doing this practically you will feel so good and there are also defense uh, techniques uh, uh, at the end of the videos so you can uh, uh, learn them how to identify the particular attack in the logs and coming to the uh, purchase options the 30 days is 249 dollars so 30 days lab access i think this is the best uh, price you can purchase any uh, infosec certification there is no other infosec certification below than this one and this is affordable price uh, 250 dollars so this discount will be throughout the year so don't need to worry you can come back later and still you will see the 249 dollars if you are completely new uh, to the active directory don't worry the course covers the basics of active directory as well so you don't need to worry about some background active directory uh, information uh, i recommend 30 days uh, 30 days will be enough so if you spend three to four hours a day then 30 days should be fine if you are doubt uh, if you have any doubts you can go for 379 dollars 60 days and 90 days will be overkill so uh, the lab is also uh, quite smart compared to crte so if uh, 90 days is a overkill and 60 days uh, will be uh, fine if you don't have if you have a lot of time and you want to do the lab in a slow way so you need to put your name and email and click on buy now it will redirect to the new uh, purchase page there you can uh, you can buy via uh, credit debit card so after that you will get a mail and within 24 hours they will uh, ask you how to uh, when you want to start the lab access so you can access the lab within 90 days of the course purchase here they will say here 90 days of the purchase then you will get the access to the you will get access to the crtp lab portal so here we can see i have uh, started my lab access on august 8 and ended on september 7 and i have attended the exam on the last friday and if you go to this course videos uh, you will get the course videos and walkthrough videos and you will also get a lab manual pdf and uh, you will have the two types of access that is one via vpn and via one via web browser 
generally you will get the only the access to the windows box and all the attacks should be performed via windows box so there is no restriction over the tools or the os you want to use you want to use kalinux as well but this course teaches you the attack perspective from the windows box so it is also very important because sometimes the client gives only the windows box uh, and we don't have uh, like car linux on the network so you will get some uh, windows end machine to and from there onwards you want to load the tools and attack the uh, attack directory so this is a uh, kind of similar to that you will get the windows box and i think this uh, web br br browser access is the best uh, you can directly open this one and click on generate credentials and log in with that and you can directly copy paste from your uh this windows uh, main box to your vm and vice versa so there will be a shared folder you can throw the tools in that and you can click on download so it is very easy uh, to just if there are tools on your main windows box you can just uh, copy paste those uh, powershell scripts into that browser session so it is very easy and there will be no lag when accessing this when typing the commands and uh doing some recon so the lab uh, you will have this flag verification actually i should not open this one you will have uh, the answers are submitted and you can see the answers here so that's why i'm not going to open this one so flag flag verification consists of these 40 flags you need to enumerate through the uh, when you're walking through the lab videos and you need to perform the uh, those techniques practically on the lab environment and then submit the flags so the flag submi uh, uh, submission is not uh, mandatory but this will highly help you in the exam so i have submitted uh, submitted the flags uh, at the august ending and then i have did the lab uh, again just to get enough grip and after that uh, last friday i woke up at the 3 am uh, 3 15 am i guess then uh, went for the toilet then i could not sleep so that's why uh, i thought let's take the exam and one good thing is you can directly start the so okay uh, you can click on this certification exam you can directly click on this start exam and the environment will be started in 20 minutes so this is very very uh, good uh, because uh, in other certifications you need to mail the uh, mail the company about uh, how uh, when to schedule the exam so there is no scheduling the exam you can directly start the exam by clicking on the button so it will take uh, 15 to 20 minutes to set up the exam and you will get one hour extra for that compensated time and you will have the vpn access and coming to the exam uh, you will have the vpn access and browser access so what i recommend is you you open the browser uh, access in the windows box and connect the Kali linux vm to the vpn so that Kali linux vm will be acting as a file server so you can load all the tools on that Kali linux and you can directly load those uh, tools into this uh, windows box easily so that is a uh, very uh, fast way to load the files and after that the exam is uh, not that much difficult and not that much easy there is one big rabbit hole and i highly suggest you go through all the uh, objectives so there will be running objectives in this flag so you go through all the running objectives and make a cheat sheet of the what you have learned this will definitely help you because this rabbit hole if you did not overcome this rabbit hole you cannot pass the exam i have been stuck for uh, almost six hours uh, with this rabbit hole so the exam started at 4 15 am i guess uh, at the 6 that so the lab consists the exam consists of five machines you need to pawn and after two hours at 6 30 i have completed uh, the two boxes so they are they are pretty uh, nice and i have so much confident and then after that i went to bath and after eating my uh, breakfast i sat again then i have been struck for six hours because of this rabbit hole 
then at uh, uh, 12:30 in the afternoon at 12:30 pm i got this idea i again uh, went through this uh, all of this uh, flag verification and all of my notes and trying to find out where i am missing and then there it is i it, i have missed that part and whenever i, I tried that technique i got the uh, access to the next box so after that it will be pretty fire easy so the exam is not that much difficult not that much easy it's a, a good exam and there are some uh, uh, difficulties you might face so one is the blood hound so the blood hound will not show any juicy information uh, it will show only one juicy information that is required uh, later on in the uh, when you are pawn in the machine so that means uh, when you are uh, in the your student box you want to pawn other box you want to run the blood hound then you can't get information to get to the next box so the blood hound information will be in the middle path of the last box so like you want to pawn from fourth box to fifth box then that information will be in the blood hound not from the uh, 0th box to first box so that means blood hound does not help you in any of the enumeration so don't rely heavily on blood hound so generally what we think is running blood hound will reveal the paths and you can just directly uh, do the attacks and get the uh, foothold on the machine so that is not in this case so don't do not rely on the blood hound also if you want to run the blood hound make sure you download the latest sharp hound ingester because uh, i ran the uh, sharp hound given in this uh, tools uh, zip file so whenever i opened that uh, zip file in my blood hound then it says incompatible so i had to download the latest sharp hound dot exe from the github again run that and uploaded my zip file to the blood hound in the kali linux then i came to know that there is no much information uh, related to the attack paths so you can directly enumerate using the power view and you can get that information what blood hound is, is showing so don't rely on blood hound that is my uh, important tip and another important tip is uh, go through all of the uh, this Uh, course videos and lab manual and the walkthrough videos and your cheat sheet so make a cheat sheet of all the attacks and how to find those attacks so if you can directly run whenever you are uh, in the on the powershell prompt you can directly run and you can get the information so this helps uh, saving a lot of time also make a notes of uh, how to attack how to make these uh, golden tickets cross test attacks etc cd history injection etc so make those all of those cheat sheets and another difficulty you can face is the lab uh, video course videos so the course videos are uh, old at the time of making of the videos the power view version is old so there is there are some syntactical changes between the old version and the new version uh, so uh, we can say get uh, group uh, get net group you need to specify group name parameter and in the latest power view version you can directly pass the group name in the quotes so the, those are small syntax changes but you can get used to it so i highly recommend you upload your own power view uh, onto the box onto your lab box and then practice with it because the how are you coming with this tools dot zip is the older version if you practice with that and if you upload the newer power view version then you will get much more confusion in the exam time so start with the new power view version upload that into the uh, vm and start uh, enumeration so these are my main tips and uh, don't rely on bread hound Uh, make sure all the tools are up to date sharp hound ingesters and power view versions etc uh, and go through all of this do not leave any lab objective everything is uh, uh, important 
if you go through all of these uh, walk through videos lab manual course videos and your cheat sheet then you should directly uh, pass the exam so that's all for this uh, video uh, you can also use uh, uh you you can also use uh, c# or binaries as well so the exam does not have uh, any restrictions over the tools so you can uh, automate whole process in parser or c# sharp so like finding the top uh, uh, misconfigurations and you can uh, run those binaries in one shot so it will save you so much of time so it's up to you so that's all for this video this is my uh, review of the cert type exam this is the best certificate if you want to come into the red teaming active directory and stuff like that so this and also the uh, 250 dollars is very very affordable when compared to other certifications